Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a haul video for you. I picked up some films from Indicator, one of my favorite companies from the UK, and I thought I would show you what I picked up. Now I placed this order way back in the beginning of October, and here it is, the, almost the beginning of December. So uh, these films are all unopened. I haven't had a chance to see them yet, but I've been filling in the blanks in my collection. I love Indicator, like I said, as a company, and they were having a really amazing uh, sale in October. A lot of these um, uh, titles were heavily discounted. So I was really excited to be able to pick them up and add uh, quite a few titles to my collection. So, But this first one, before I get started, I wanted to just mention when I was participating in the Criterion sale with Barnes & Noble, I found an indicator title in my Barnes & Noble, and this is a, a, a region-free release of uh, Peter Sellers in the Blockhouse. Uh, and again, these are all sealed. I have not had a chance to see these yet. But um, I'm a big fan of Peter Sellers. I've been talking about Peter Sellers and Blake Edwards in a number of videos, and so I thought I would pick this up. I was so happy to find this. It was just randomly in a rack in Barnes & Noble, and so I did pay full price for this one, but, uh, but again, happy to pick it up. And there is the list of many, many extra features that Indicator includes, including booklets and things like that with their releases. Uh, so I'll just hold that up to the screen. You can pause it and read some of those. Lots of extra features, too, and I'm always looking for uh, interviews with Peter Sellers, if I can find those. There's quite a few, um, uh, you know, on YouTube, but uh, just looking in the back here, I don't really see any on this particular release. But um, I'm really excited, again, to watch this. Haven't seen this one, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm so happy to add it to my collection. And from the sale, uh, some viewers, I think, had recommended this one, and I haven't had a chance to see it. This is Region A and Region B. This is Peter Sellers and Hoffman. And I have not had a chance to see this one, but a lot of a lot of folks recommended this. And again, just being a huge Peter Sellers fan, I'm happy I picked this one up. There is the back of that with some extra features. And let's just look on the back here to see whether there are some. Uh, of course, lots of commentaries, lots of uh, you know, lots of extras here too. Um, uh, Strange relationship, 2022. Ray Cuffer calls Hoffman's troubled history and his friendship with Peter Sellers. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Again, lots of extra features here too, as well as a limited edition exclusive 36 page booklet with a new essay by John Rain and archival interviews with Peter Sellers and Sinead Cusack. Uh, so again, really excited on this one, haven't seen it. And uh, so I, I'm excited to see anything with Peter Sellers in it. Uh, some of these two, I have not, um, uh, you know, I didn't have these in my collection too. So I thought since Indicator is doing a sale and since I really enjoy their company, I thought I would pick some of these up. And this one I did not have in my collection, but uh, I have seen it before. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Spencer Tracy, Catherine Hepburn, Sidney Poitier, of course. Uh, and there's the back of that one also. And this is a region-free release of this movie from 1967, so I'm excited to rewatch this one. And these are all Blu-rays too, by the way. The next one is, this is uh, completely unknown to me, but it looked really interesting on the website, and it was on sale, and so I thought I would give it a shot. And this is... Samuel Fuller, uh, Storyteller, Volume 1. Uh, so this has, It Happened in Hollywood, Adventure in Sahara, and Power of the Press. Uh, three movies there, and there's the back of that one again with lots of extra features that you can see. This is a uh, region-free release. Uh, these movies are from the 1930s, 1938, 1938, 1943. So I'm excited to explore this one. Haven't seen it, but I love... Uh, picking up some new things that interest me and really getting into some of these films that I that I haven't really been exposed to before. And so I had to pick up also Volume 2, Storyteller Volume 2 was also on sale with uh, Shockproof and Scandal Sheet. Uh, and there's that one. Love the covers on these. Love the artwork on these as well. And there's the back of that one also. This is also region free. And the movies are from 1949 and 1952. So I was really able to pick up a lot of single titles. I do have some box sets, of course, from Indicator, but I, I, I was really focusing on the single titles that I did not have in my collection. And this next one is, I believe this one is also based on a play. I, I want to say this is The Pumpkin Eater uh, with uh, Anne Bancroft, Peter Finch, and James Mason. Of course, Anne Bancroft, amazing. Uh, but of course, they're all amazing uh, in the movie. And there is the extra features on that. And I thought this one was related to a play uh, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, I'm just looking at the extra features here on the back to see. Let's see. Uh, um, I'm not sure, but anyway, this one looked really interesting, and uh, I was really excited uh, to uh, pick it up and add it to my collection. The movie's from 1964, and this is an all re this is a region-free release too. 
Of course, with some of these, if they're region A or B, you'll need a region-free Blu-ray player. I do have a video on that as well. I picked up a region-free Blu-ray player uh, many months back, and I'm so happy with it uh, because then I can have access to all these uh, you know, films that I may not have been able to see. Uh, this one, I believe I, I saw many years ago. This is Marlon Brando in The Wild One. Again, love the cover on that one as well. There's the back of that um, with, again, extra features there. And also region free, uh, the wild one from 1953. Uh, next up, this is, uh, as I was talking about before, uh, really enjoying the films of Blake Edwards. And this is one that I believe was on the Criterion channel, but I didn't have a chance to see it. And I thought I would pick it up here. This is Experiment in Terror with Lee Remick and Glenn Ford. Um, and there's the back of that one. So anytime I can see interviews with Peter Sellers or Blake Edwards or really any artist, I really enjoy those. I really enjoy watching those interviews. Probably one of my favorite uh, special features is, is, to, is to watch interviews uh, where the artist or director is on the Dick Cavett show as an example and there's a detailed interview. I love, I love those extra features. So uh, this one has an audio commentary. It's got a new, exclusive, a new and exclusive film interview with actor Stephanie Powers. An isolated score, of course, Henry Mancini, a frequent collaborator with Blake Edwards, uh, and some TV spots as well. Uh, so I'm really excited about this one, Experiment in Terror. Have not seen it. Um, this movie, I believe, and please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, was referenced in uh, Breaking Bad, the uh, TV show, which is one of my favorite TV shows, by the way. Uh, so I thought I would pick it up. Sometimes, uh, since I've seen the show, uh, I think three times, three or four times at this point all the way through, there's lots of references in Breaking Bad to different movies, and I believe this one was, was in there as well. And so I thought I you know, had to pick it up. Bunny Lake is Missing from Otto Preminger. Um, and again, beautiful cover, uh, cover artwork on that one, as Indicator always does. Uh, and this one has extra features also, audio commentaries, um, uh, uh, Carol Lindley remembers the actress uh, discusses her career in working with Otto Preminger, which sounds very interesting. So uh, lots of extras on this one. I'm excited to watch it. Haven't had a chance to see this one, so glad it's in my collection now. Got a few more here too. This is a film from the 70s, and of course, as you know from the channel, I'm such a big fan of movies from the 70s, and I, I was even thinking of maybe starting a series on movies of the 70s, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something like that, uh, because I have so many favorite movies from the 70s. It's my favorite, I think it's my favorite uh, decade for movies. Of course, there's many, many movies released over, uh, you know, over time that are great, but, but I, I tend to go back to movies from the 70s and really enjoy those. Um, but this one is The Odessa File, and from 1974, and I'm sure I saw this in the 70s, but I haven't, I haven't seen it in many years, so I'm excited to, I'm excited to rewatch this. Um, and this has some interviews as well, a uh, new exclusive interview with stuntman Vic Armstrong, Foreign Friends, new and exclusive interview with uh, continuity supervisor Elaine uh, Shryak, Super 8 version, uh, original cut down, home cinema presentations, lots of extra detailed features on these releases, which I really love. And again, movie from 1974, this is also region free. So you could play this in a regular um, Blu-ray player, but it's great to have a um, region free one as well. Uh, this one I also have a copy of uh, from, uh, I believe a Screen Factory copy of this one, but I saw it on sale and this is the indicator release of Road Games. There's Road Games there. And look at, look at that extensive list of extra features on the back of that one. Uh, and again, excited to explore these. You know, I really love when I can get a film and explore through the extra features, all the details about the movie. So if I'm really getting into it, I can really learn a lot more about the artist, how the film was made and things like that. I really enjoy that. So lots of extra stuff on that one. And finally, I have this also in another release, which is a Kino Lorber release, but I had to pick this one up, the indicator release, uh, William Reichert, Winter Kills. Um, and this is also a movie from 1979. So again, right up my alley since it's from the 70s. And there's extra features on the back of that one. Uh, and this one, I believe, also has a booklet, a limited edition. This is a limited edition, 3,000 copies as well, uh, you know, of the movie. Uh, sometimes when these come out, they either come out in a box set, not this particular one, but sometimes these come out in a box set and then there are single releases later on once the box set is sold out or out of print. 
Uh, but it's nice to see these come back once in a while. It's nice to pick up the copy of the movie either way, whether it's in a box set or not. Um, so that is my Indicator haul. And I just love Indicator, like I said, as a company. I'll link the website in the description below. It does take a little bit, of, uh, a little while, of course, because they're in the UK. I'm in the US. So it takes some time for the, for the titles to get here. But I feel like in this particular go around, I ordered the films and they came here rather quickly. Um, and this was, a, a, I think, a more um, uh, aggressive uh, sale that I've seen, uh, you know, more than I've seen in the past. And prices were super low. So um, sometimes that makes me a little bit worried about how the company is doing. But so I try to take advantage as much as possible and pick up as many titles uh, as I can because I would not like to see a, a great company like Indicator have issues of any kind. So I like to support any, com any of these labels, obviously, during a sale or even off sale when I can. Uh, but Indicator is one of my favorites. And like I said, I'll link that website in the description so you can take a look at their site. They're always doing sales. Uh, sometimes they have a flash sale. Sometimes uh, you know, the sales will be extended a little bit longer. Um, Thanks so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if you like Indicator, any specific titles that you like. Also, let me know, as I mentioned before, too, if you would like to see me do a series on 70s movies. And even you can even add some suggestions in the comments below as well. I've seen a lot of 70s films, not all 70s films, of course. But, uh, but I would love to get some suggestions and recommendations in the comments below. Uh, so thanks again for watching. If you have not subscribed from, uh, to my channel, please do subscribe. That would be awesome. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.